Hello, monsters about here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 11 of my Demon Prince campaign. Where the only other army we have, we're at a turn 120, 120-ish, and I've only got two armies because that's all I can afford, um, which suggests that Demon Prince's economy is fucking awful. But there we go. And um, at least our armies are strong, you know. This, I mean, to be honest, this, ar this army, you think, oh, only two armies. Is that because your entire army is, like, fucking blood bloodthirsters? No, no. To be honest, this army's fairly basic. It's got exalt. Okay, you've got exalted blood letters there. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. you got you got a couple of, like, regiments of renown in there. We've also got some, you know, chaos knights. They're fairly bog standard. you got flesh hounds of corn there. you got, you've even got some, some, some marauders in there as well. So, I mean, it's not like we're pushing the fucking boat out or anything, is it? Just our economy's fucking awful. Painful, even. It, it's, it's, the economy thing does make me wonder, do, does CA play their own game? Do they play it? Do they just wing it? Do they just look at the numbers and go, yeah, I mean, that's probably fine, isn't it? Oh well. Well, there we go. The enemy army has been completely and utterly crushed, unsurprisingly, really. Not killing them is the problem, it's finding blocking the bastards down. Winning battles isn't the issue. It's being everywhere at the same time. Well, that's the issue. Um, I'm going to take the cash. Let's take the cash. Right, well, at least we've managed to, like, kill kill most of the Chaos Armies or Archaean Armies in this direction. So if we can, if we can, like, knock out their key fortresses... That's something. Do we? The problem is, if I go, if I go Nurgle, Kairos will, because Kairos doesn't have anything better to do. Well, that's not true. He is actually at war with Kislev. Could I become friends with Kislev by beating up? K no, probably not. That's probably not going to happen, is it? I mean, the enemy of my enemy is not necessarily always my friend, especially if they were also my enemy. The enemy of my enemy, that's my enemy, is probably just going to be my enemy. Probably how that works. It's almost, almost certainly how that works. Never mind. I think you'll find iridescent horror. Actually, did you did you get a little skill up as well? You did. You can get hunts and and um, crush because I just want you to be an absolute fucking monster. I mean, you already are a monster, but I want you to be more of a monster. God, what's the point in what is the point in that? Like at least the Nurgle one at least gives you gives you additional income. Uh, I'm just gonna build defenses everywhere. I think I think it's probably probably sensible. It's like whack a load of defenses everywhere. Hope for the best. At some point we're gonna have to deal with Kairos, but that is that is not this day slash episode potentially depends. Hello? Valiant defeat. What if I... What can I seduce? What can I seduce that's vaguely good? You? No. Oh, how much money do I have? Where's my... Can I actually see how much money I have? No. <laughs> I just have to guess. I don't think I, I, don't think I could get anything. Uh, is it worth... Is it... Right, what is this? Settlement battle? This? Oh, fuck. Do I... Do I... Do I can I be asked? Fuck it, no. No, I could probably, I could probably fight it. Why the fuck does? Why the fuck do you get walls? Is it a dark fortress? I'd be nice to know. Um, 
let's get some screaming tomes and try and try and bolster our elect. Oh, it's not. It's not looking good, is it? It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh, for fuck's sake! You're there now. Come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. I'm tempted to. Oh, fuck it. Okay, we'll torch this. I don't even want it. It's just in the way. Okay, I've got 3,000, which is, I'm going to be honest, not enough to get another army with, considering this one costs 4,800. I mean, I guess I could recruit one that's, like, really shit. If I... If I... If I... Hmm... To be honest, I'm probably better off just building defences everywhere and hoping for the best. That's probably... Probably the best option. Um, yeah. But we just need to... Uh, sure. Just need to make sure... That we we take all of Archaon settlements. If we take all of his settlements, then basically he's dead. Uh, I mean, he's only got four, and two of those are new. So, if we could, I mean, his armies have been have been whacked off. We've beaten them raw. And if I just build, you know, defences everywhere, and the building which gives me more stuff, which is, nope. That one? This one. Yeah, so we build, we build the stuff that gives us more stuff. Ideally not the Nurgle one, because that just gives us more Nurglings, which is worse. I would prefer one unit of Bloodletters compared to four units of Nurglings, because the Bloodletters will do more. Ooh, the Demonic, so we got a, the Deadly Passion. It's a bit sexy. Oh. Look at my pecs. Is that a thing? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Just, they just come back. <laughs> you take it from them and they just they just wait for you to wander off. Come on. Come and fight me. Are you in range? You might be in range. I'm just going to ambush stance. Then we're going to. I'm going to attack you. Are you going to come out? Is there, are you going to drag everyone out to play? No? You piece of shit. Alright, I'm going to attack your stupid. Oh, there's not actually. You know what? I thought there'd be more people, although that did hurt a little bit more than I thought it would do. Never mind. Uh, we could raise an advance. I guess you give us a casualty replenishment rate. Um, sure. Not as much as I would have liked, but then I can just recolonize it. Whoop, whoop. Uh, yeah, that actually, I mean, we're still probably fine. I probably should have fought that. What's a Bellow of Fury? Probably shit. What's a Wrath of Corn? Um, probably bad. What's Burning Rage? They're all explosions, aren't they? What? What's the difference? That one does, that's right, a radius of 15 meters. Wrath of, the Wrath of Corn, that does more damage, but it's only 3 meters. Oh, so if if the, if someone's casting, they explode. Cool. It will bring well, I'm sure it will. No one wants to explode when they're casting, do they? It's just it's just unneeded. Last thing you want when you're casting is to explode. Take it from me. This world will burn. I'm going to head in this direction. And with any luck, these guys... So the only problem with this map is, particularly in Norsko, it's a bastard to get anyone to fight you because there's so many, like, little little channels, canyons, that... It, I, I guess especially with... Because considering how many settlements I've got, I would think I'd be able to afford more armies. 
But no. Hello? Goodbye. Yeah! Unleashing those death heads. I was hoping they would do a little bit more. Um, but the enemy decided to charge me, so I thought I'll charge them back. We've, of course, got our fast-moving units on the other sides. So they're careering into the rear of the enemy column. I just... I just think Plague Bearers are neat, all right? They're, they're very, very tanky boys. They are the best of boys. You can't go wrong with Plague Bearers. Demonettes, on the other hand, just disintegrate at the drop of a hat. Bloodletters, pretty good. Pink Horrors, pretty good. Demonettes, emotionally unstable, at best. Which would be fine if they weren't demons, but they are See, the enemy army is uh, disintegrating pretty quickly. No, Demonettes can dish it out, they just can't take it. Slight issue at the rear with a Chaos Spawn, obviously being unbreakable. Have to be brought down. But that's fine. Even the Dragon Ogres fleeing the battlefield. Hmm. I do need to I do need the cash so I can build defenses everywhere, which apparently is is probably something we just should be doing. I think. With this with this large an empire and with absolutely no way to defend it, building defenses across the board just seems like the sensible sensible choice. So that's what we're gonna do. I hadn't even twigged that was a I haven't I don't think I've had Moss's face. Hellbrass? Did we do? Will you come and help if I kill this? Okay. Kill you. No, oh, I didn't actually want to sack that. I just wanted to... I wanted to capture it. Wanted to capture it. Okay, we'll head down this way now. So basically, if we can... I, what, one of the nice things about about the Chaos Warriors, is that they will give any settlement which isn't a Dark Fortress to their vassal. Which means that eventually they run out of places to because they can't conquer anywhere else if it's not a Dark Fortress. If you can lock down all the Dark Fortresses, there's fuck all they can do about it. Which is fun. Ooh. Build some, build some cash? Oh yeah, I need to take that, which I haven't done. Um... Yeah, I mean, sure. I probably need to build defences around here, don't I? Because when Mr. Cranky decides to uh, to kick off, Mr. Kairos, just because I'm just because I'm beating up his bloody the guy he doesn't particularly like, but fuck it. Um, more money, yes. Yeah, well, yes, that and additional income would be nice too. Anything, to be honest. Um, I don't know if you saw, but Colonel Damders did, like, a, a Total War Warhammer quiz, which I was part of. And I did very well at the guess which legendary lord is talking round. And I know for a fact it's because while I'm playing the game, I talk to the little people. I talk to them like they're actually there. Like a l fucking lunatic. So... <laughs> So I'm so I'm fully aware. Everyone else apparently just doesn't listen to the game. I was like, how can you do that? I, don't, I genuinely don't understand how you could do that. I always like listening to things. I like to immerse myself. Stuff it up your ass, you shiny hatted fuck. God, I fucking hate that guy. He sucks so much. So the only problem with Chaos Warriors is that they can always recruit wherever, can't they? I think. So, oh, I will choose influence just to try and keep him off my back. I would like to kill you, but, 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 there's this guy that needs to die. And also, I need to come down here. Hello, it's Archeon. He's back. Come here, you piece of shit. I want to pull your face off. 
Come here, let me kill you. Well, at least at least you kind of boosted your 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 killy killy bits. So that's good. Con corruption, punishment, growth, all prop. I mean, all pro I mean, growth, all provinces is nice. That's all right, isn't it? As long as we've got the garrison here, I think this should be fine. Um, I would like an actual an actual wall. Wait, does do we get a wall? I can't. I don't fucking know where we get walls or settlement battles anymore. I genuinely don't know. I've given up caring. I've given up trying to work it out because I, I, ca I cannot, I cannot waste the emotional bandwidth on trying to fucking understand what Creative Assembly have done to settlements. I don't know. Sometimes in Norska you get walls, and sometimes you don't, because some settlements are Norskan and some aren't. Is there any way of knowing? Not really, apart from, like, just looking at them and going, I guess that looks like a Norskan settlement. But then there's some that are Chaos settlements. They're not Norskan, they're Chaos, and they do have... What? Who the fuck knows? Arcan ran away. Of course he did. He yellow belly twat. Come here. Come here. Alright, you're, you're, getting, you're getting spanked, mate. You're getting spanked. Jesus, that's a lot of guys, though. Is it a settlement battle? Yes, it is. All right, well, let's get some siege towers, then. My only slight concern is this guy, if he starts recruiting... If he comes back... Mind you, if he comes back, then it'll be a field battle, which means I won't have to deal with defences. So I guess I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, yeah, they are they are throwing everything at me. They are throwing everything at me. I do have two... Th what can I... I could seduce something. I could seduce some doggos. It's an option. No. No. Might just be doggos. Oh, maybe some Norskans. Not not them. Um, horses? I could seduce some horses. Hello there, big boy. Is that all I can do? Yeah. Okay, we'll seduce a horse. It says Pyrrhic Victory. But... Yeah, we'll fight it. It's like me trying to remember my shopping list. So, we are a tad outnumbered, three to one, but that's okay. The enemy's coming in... Well, they're actually going to arrive really quickly. But that's okay, because we can kind of, like, pen them in. Already you can see we are wrecking that uh, enemy commander. He's having a terrible time. We can just finish him off. I think he might get away. He's getting away. He's, getting, he's making a break for it. Making a break for it. And enemy reinforcements. Is he going to run off the battlefield? Come on. Come on. Don't rally. Don't rally. Fuck off. Don't rally. Don't rally. No, he's rallied. Okay, well. Never mind. So they're all pouring onto battlefield. As you can see, we can, like, pen them in here. So we've got a nice little choke point, which we can use. It means they can't bring their numbers to bear. Which is just as well, because there's a shit ton of them. 3,000 versus 1,000 of us, say. 3 to 1. So on our right flank, the blood letters being led by Neo Cornelius. Backed up by the Chaos Spawn. And then on the left, we've got the Chaos Knights of Corn leading the charge because they're just a little bit more tanky. So they're going to pin this large blob of enemies in place. So that's going to keep them busy. Meanwhile, we have Lawgiver. He's heading in this direction because it's quite a nice area to drop a little, uh, little final transmutation. But we've also spotted a nice place to drop a big old Sword of Corn. That's right. Get wrecked. Then there goes the final transmutation, which is going to slowly weaken them and drain their health. And then we've got the Knights of the Brazen Throne, the Heralds of Corn's Fist, and the Flesh Hounds of Corn charging in there. The idea being if we can break through on this flank, we can then send our cavalry careering down this hill and rampaging through the enemy army.
Things are fairly stable so far, although it should be said that the, the summoners of Raid, the Dragon Ogres there, are struggling a little bit. However, we have got a breakthrough. We did summon in some Blue Horrors as well. That has spread panic through the, the enemy lines on their right flank, and hopefully we can now start pushing down. I want to get the Chaos Knights to try and block off any retreats. So ideally, Chaos Knights here, and then the rest of our cavalry sweeping down. I mean... The, the Bruce the Hound doing fairly well, the Spawn of Corn doing okay, Blood Letters doing really, really well, as you'd expect. They're just very killy. Here comes the cavalry. It's not quite the devastating charge I hoped for, but it is causing mass panic throughout the enemy lines. And the Chaos Knights managed to get into the way bunch of these units. So anyone trying to flee past them is going to get stabbed a couple of times. And with any luck, we'll pick off more enemy units as they try and flee. Ideally, though, enemy units will try and flee in the opposite direction. Uh, apparently, some spawn of corn have chased the marauders of Nurgle away. I guess that's fine. There we go. We've got uh, mass routing happening. Neo Cornelius is up to 127 kills. I just kind of let him do his own thing, and he's been doing great work. Something about the blood letters, they just they look cool. I mean, they're not they're not a great unclean one, but you know, they're pretty good. Not bad. So we've got a breakthrough. The enemy army is disintegrating. I mean, apart from the summoners of rage who took a sound thrashing, I think we've managed to dish out a lot of pain to the enemy army. Which includes the garrison. The army inside the city, and of course, that little little bitty army that was hanging around outside. We're going to use our cavalry to hunt down as many enemy units as possible, because obviously we want to be able to auto-resolve rather than have to fight our way into the city staffed with a bunch of, you know, chewed up units, which aren't going to really be difficult to kill. It's just going to be a lot of... It's going to, it's going to be a lot of palaver, and I don't want to deal with palaver. All right, I think we're getting there. I was a little bit worried we would be, end up chasing chasing these assholes throughout the Chaos Waste, getting nowhere. However, um, that one. I think we're getting the other. I seen your request already. It is pathetic. Why does no one like me? Why is it? So I should get this. So I said I should get the skill points to to make them like me. But to be honest, at this point, at this point, I'm kind of like fuck them, fuck them. If they're going to be like this, you know what they deserve? Fucking annihilation is what they deserve. All they all they deserve is death. The changes promise. Okay, good to know. Right. Right. Don't know where our has gone. But this is mine now. Uh, I will upgrade you. There we go. And I will kill you! Oop. Okay, so, I think... I think... He's only, he's only got... He's got another settlement over there. Where the fuck did that one come from? God. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Cornelius has got this. He's is, he is the angriest of boys. Let's get a little bit of replenishment there. And we'll get you crushed. You probably beefed up your... Really? I, I mean, you just won like two battles in a row. So I thought you'd be doing a little bit better than that, but all right. All right, no worries. Um, let's give you Inspiring Presence and we'll beef up your your blood letters. I'm just going to tick you. So, if we come down and take out this... It 
if we bolster the garrison here? I know Archaon's out here somewhere, meandering around. We've got this little problem up here. He seems to be heading in this direction. Uh, Gore Hunt Hall. Sounds like a stately... Sounds like it looked after by the National Trust, doesn't it? Okay, we're going to knock that down and get defences here. Defences here. Basically defences everywhere. Um, because they're kind of heading down into our heartland. And I've got nothing to stop that. I mean, I could recruit some stuff. Maybe one of you. Oh, I can only afford you. Okay. Oh, because you were... Okay. Dylan. You can have some submission. How about that? That's all I'm, that's all I'm offering at this point. A little bit. The Diet Coca submission. Just one calorie. Not submissive enough. Doopa doopa doo. Yeah, you're just heading this direction, aren't you? That's not really much you can do to stop you. Okay, if you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. They will never know the safe word. A tool of Jesus, always make sure you know the safe torture. words. Where the fuck's Archeon gone? He's fucked off. Tucked his tail between his legs and just booked it. I don't really want to take this, but as soon as I'm passing through, I may as well. Sin right, we need, to, we need to get over here, because this is where he's got another fucking fortress. If we take that one and that one, at that point Archeon has no, has no where to go. That means he could potentially take somewhere else, but... You know, we're we're sort of zeroing in on him. His army he's got no armies left. It's just his it's just his fucking Norskins which don't have the hey, how many fucking vassals has he got? How many vassals has this monumental asshole picked up? Four. Four of them. I'm fighting four I'm fighting no, I'm fighting five factions at the moment, and I've also got my other two neighbours don't like me either. <laughs> Ah, oh, this, this starting position sucks so much. Oh, I just, I just want to go to the Empire and fight them for a change. I've been stuck. I've been stuck in the fucking chaos ways fighting chaos because they all hate me so much. I mean, I know it's true to the law. I know chaos spent like inordinate amounts of times kicking the shit out of each other, but come on. Come on. God, you suck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna fucking you, Larmond Dahl. Uh, right. Without boundaries. If we, uh, problem is we're just hemorrhaging money now. Where's our count gone? You think, oh, it's, a, it's his best army. He's gonna, gonna come for, for us, but no. Nope. Not interested. Bugger just, just disappears. Fucks off. I don't know where he's gone. He's only got one settlement left. We'll hunt them down. Right. So we've got him. We've got him. His back's towards a wall now. In fact, we know what we're gonna do. Well, I might. I might take a Kinslayer. Haven. Hey, can we reach that in one turn? Mm, yeah, probably. Oh, we are marching. All right, maybe not. But if we can, if we can find Archeon, kick him in the head again. I mean, I'm assuming Archeon doesn't have much stuff left. You summon me, little mortal. I will feast on your son. I mean, at least at least Kolek is at war with some other guys. But I feel like he's got right. He's got four settlements. I mean, I'm gonna, I have to kill Archeon. Killing Archeon's obviously. One of the... Oh, I've actually done the... 
Oh, I need to... Right, that's easy. It's just that I'm going to piss Kairos off at the same time. Then we need to kill off the war host. Oh, it looks like the Legion of the Gore Queen's dead. So just the war host of the Apocalypse, the Heralds of the of the Tempest, and then 80 Settlements, which is a really boring objective. I, You know what? Personally, I would have preferred something like Destroy Kislev, because that makes more... You know, poor... That just kind of makes more sense to me. Um, I feel like I've just spent the last 120 turns murdering Chaos guys, and... That's, been, in my opinion, a wee bit samey. But, you know, at least Archeon's almost dead. More declared between who? Oh, not Vashnar's Conquest. Those guys are the worst. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to ignore these guys. I'm just going to pass on by. I'm just going to walk. That's right. You you get to, you get to choose life this time, little guys, because I'm just going to ignore you and head for Black Axe Key. Oh, there he is. Where'd you go to? You just went for a nice walk in the fucking woods. You know what? Piss and piss and tits to it. I'm just going to. Yeah, boy. Undead Devourer. Holy shit. Holy shit. It, serves chaos. it does, doesn't it? It really does. Uh, so... I mean, that's... Wait, where was it? Nope. Nope. Hang on. Nope. That one. It was a chess piece, right? Undead devout, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Hellish power. Let's go for the Nurgle. Oh, there he is, right at the top. Oh, he's got a little chain there. I mean, the only problem is that we'll lose our... We'll lose our benefit. Uh, that is the... What, which one is this? That one. Oh, no. No, it's not the right one. Where's the... That one. Yeah, because this one gives us gore feast. Which is really nice. I'm gonna stick with that for the moment, just until we've unlocked some others. All right, we got the short. We got the short victory. This is obviously gonna really fuck off Kairos. That's deteriorating. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna declare war. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck fuck everything. Burn it all down. I will put out your eyes. I will rip out your he's got three of them. So no, you don't get peace. You don't get peace, mate. I'm gonna fucking murder you. You no wait. I started this. I. That's on me. I did. I did actually. That's fair. That's that is on me. I did start this. Yeah. Yeah. No. That is. A crescendo of okay. Oh fuck! That was where my army was. I wasn't paying attention. Fuck. Wait. Was it? Oh no! Sin dancer. Fuck. Oh bollocks. Oh, I'm gonna be two turns away now, aren't I? Oh wait. No, I'm not. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Uh, tell you what, actually, change mind. Kill that. Occupy. And you will get pulled into this fight. No, well, you're going to follow this, mate. So I'll pull you into this fight. Archeon has once again just wandered off. Um, but he doesn't have a house. Oh, the problem is I don't know if you actually... So you don't have a house. You will peace out with us. So I'm wondering whether we just, like, peace out with them. Because then they don't have anywhere to live. Which will be quite funny for me. Because we'll have their stuff. 
So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll do that. And then Archeon's only got his one army. And I don't think, because he's not a horde. But I don't, don't think he'll take attrition. Um, so let's kill these guys. Then we'll peace out with Archeon. And then we'll move our forces into position to retake our stuff. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.